Hey guys, and welcome back to. Wait for it. Wait for it. I remember what this game's called Panzer Dragoon! There we go. Ah, what an awkward moment to have a brain fart. You see, a proper YouTuber would cut that out, but not me. Oh no. Anyway, next episode, episode 5 complete. This is where the game certainly starts to dial things up just a little bit. Important question. Do we have coffee left? Yes, we do. Now this, this is a tough mission. This is a really tough mission because straight off the bat, we get shot at by everything. At least that's what it feels like. Now we just need Flight of the Valkyries playing in the background. Again, you know, proper YouTuber would put that in, but, uh, you know. Oh, loading, loading, loading. Come on. I swear this game, you know, like 20, uh, yeah, say 25% of this game is loading. 25%. Yeah, very interested to see what this new Switch Pro is going to be like. Uh, a Switch that can output 4K. Uh, yes, please, because I played this game on my 4K TV yesterday, and it looks like shit. Anyway, let's go. But then, you know, what, you, what do you expect? The handheld. Right, let's go. I'm just, I just love the fact that we can. Oh, okay. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Yep, you've got that black dragon just shooting everything at us. He is a bit of a menace. Menace to society, and I think straight off the bat we're going to go down. Which is generally how this this level goes for me, to be honest. Not going to lie. Yep, we're gone. Already. Literally in seconds. Ah, oh, Savage. Yeah, I'm going to continue. Fuck yeah, I'm going to continue. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen. Man. But I, I guess, actually, if your health did re, um, restock between missions, you probably wouldn't have any issues with this at all. You'd probably sail straight through this, in all fairness. So, I get it. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Once more, we're feeling. Okay, duck and weave, boys. Duck and weave. It's those bloody eggs of his that really do the damage. Gotta have eyes in your ass. Oh, man. Okay. We've already lost a quarter of our health. And this mission's only just started. Okay. Light him up, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, can we zoom out, please? We can. Oh, God. Yeah, once this mission starts going, we're okay. We should be okay now. It's just that awkward startup. It's just savage. Hey lads, welcome to the party. Oh god, guests of honor going down in flames. Now these things suck. These things just drop these rather nasty enemies behind you. And they take a heck of a lot of shooting to bring down. But that's fine. Look at them, they're just... Dumping everything in our way. That's fine. We like we like unfair odds. Sega always had unfair odds. And look how it went for them. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Yes, it didn't go very well, did it, actually? Oh god. We are really taking it on the chin here. And not in a good way. Wait, is there a good way to take it on the chin? Probably. Let's not think about that. Too much is going on to think. Oof. Now I know what a fighter pilot feels like. Ugh. Oh man, where do you guys come from? Okay, lock them up. See, I'd love uh, a new Star Fox game. And I'm not talking about that dross we got for the Wii U. Uh, which actually wasn't, it wasn't awful, but it, uh, it wasn't what we wanted, damn it. Waited a thousand years for a new Star Fox game and 
Well, we basically got a remake of the first one. With a horrible awkward Wii U controls. Oh, jeez. We have a Star Fox for the Switch. Pretty please. Why did we never get Star Fox for the Wii U on the Switch? Oh, I guess there's still time. Now, these things suck. These little pyramids will spit out uh, these little flappy birds. And they will make a beeline straight to you. And they do a heck of a lot of damage. Okay. Looks like this jellyfish thing's back. Just going to keep hitting it with everything we've got. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I hope he's gone somewhere good. I have no idea. Gotcha. Get out of my airspace. Jeez, Louise, big puppy cheese. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, you can bring this guy down. I've done it. Oh, <laughs> like that. But yeah, he's he's mm, not. Uh... Oh shit! We just crashed into a bridge, which means we're probably dead. Yeah. Oh man. Now we've got to fight this guy, haven't we? No, that's it. That's fine. That's that's episode two. Wow, we did that by the skin of our arsehole, didn't we? Holy crap. Literally. And we got two credits? Fuck yeah. Alright, that was easier than I thought. Final boss time. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, man, we literally scooted through that on our on our butt cheeks. But as our old friend said, doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Now look at that. So this is what this empire is trying to do. It's trying to uh, turn on this ancient machine. Uh, I have no idea what that does. Probably bad. Definitely bad. Absolutely bad. But we're not going to let them do it. Because we have Solo Wing, who's literally duct taped together at this point. Rest his bones. Now, as a last episode, this is kind of anticlimactic, I think. That looks cool. Kind of reminds me of something that we'd see probably from... Uh, here we go, Super Dragon. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of something that you'd see from Metroid. In fact, a lot of this game reminds me of Metroid. Which is still a series that I haven't really played much of, to be honest. Yes, now we have to fight our dragon friend once more. But he has... He has a lot of these little annoying friendy things that fire these bloody eggs at us. I mean, I know it's Easter, but Jesus. Fuck my ass. Duck and weave. Luckily, once we destroy these egg laying bastards, uh, he doesn't get any more. But we are almost dead. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Duck and weave the sonic beams if we can. We're not looking so hot ourselves, to be honest. We really aren't looking so great. But it's okay. This is a really bad time for people to start messaging me on Facebook. Really bad time. Oh, yeah, now he starts doing sweep. Sweeps with the tail. He goes high, then he goes low, I think. But that's okay. Just gonna keep pummeling him. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Before he gets that plasma beam going. Yes. <sighs> Suck it down. But wait, there's more. 
And we're almost dead, by the way. There is our masked rider. Now, unfortunately, he's a git and he has this weird invincible shield. Which, if I mean, if you ask me, that's cheating. But hey-ho, I didn't make the rules. There we go. We're not here to moan about such things. We're just here to make it work. Go hi. There we go. How are you doing, buddy? You're not doing so well, are you? Just nailing him on every angle we can here. Ooh. Get wrecked, sir. Oof. I thought we was going to have to have a do-over there. He just like stares at us for accepting his death. Now, as I understand, the sequel to this game is actually a prequel, which is interesting. But I definitely will be picking it up for sure. Hey, we got a sharpshooter. I don't know what the best rank is. Uh, I think. Think when I did it when, on my first playthrough when I played normal, I got shooter, um, and now I've got sharpshooter three times. So I think I actually scored slightly better last time I played. I got to like ninety five percent, I think, ish. But that's still not bad. Yeah, because when I when I played this first time, it was it was like mid eighties, I think, but not bad. Okay. I guess you probably get something for, you know, getting a perfect score. And now I'm going to shut up so you can watch the ending. And that, my friends, is that. So, for many, many years, I've always wondered what all the intrigue around Panzer Dragoon was. And uh, did it live up to my expectations? I uh, yes and no, to be honest. Uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. And I think if I had this game back in the day on the Saturn, <clears throat> I've, you know, I probably would have really enjoyed it. But uh, for thirty pounds, it's kind of a big ask, if you ask me. Uh, it seems to be a lot of money for a very short game, and yes, there is replayability to it, right? Uh, I've played it through four times now. I probably won't play it again for a very good t for a very long time because there's no like alternate ending, there's no alternate paths, I don't think there's anything else to unlock. Uh, which, you know, I mean, that's fine, it's a product of its time. Um, from what I can understand in the second game, there is branching storyline, uh, well, branching paths and things, so that adds a little bit more to the game. But I enjoyed this. Uh, I must have done, right? Because I've put I've put like three or four hours into this now. Um, and, it, you know, it just confuses me as to why Sega just have given up on this one. 
I don't understand. You know, like Streets of Rage. How many years did, th did that stay dormant for? Why? Um, they, they, I mean, they did try to bring Streets of Rage back with the Dreamcast. There was that leaked footage of Streets of Rage 4, which... Yeah, glad that didn't come out. Um, but we eventually, many years later, in fact, last year, got Streets of Rage 4. Which was... Um, fucking brilliant. It just took 20 years, you know? Longer than that, actually. Uh, Golden Axe. What happened to Golden Axe? I haven't played the one on the 360, but I haven't heard very favorable things about it. Um, you know, they could do so much with Golden Axe. It doesn't have to be a hack and slash game. Okay? I mean, it can be. That would be fine. But they could make, like, Sega could do an RPG. You know, like a, um, an action RPG. Something like Zelda, say. Um, just uh, it's just these dead IPs it just drives you mad Fantasy Star, remember that? their old Final Fantasy Star, well I mean that changed after a while but they had um, you know the first three games they had like their own Final Fantasy style RPG I guess these games must have sucked right? wrong! they were good they were really good like Fantasy Star 2 and 3 were amazing you know, um, and then we got Fantasy Star Online, and yeah, which is fine. That's good. But why can't they also do like a single-player story-based Fantasy Star? There, ha there is a demand for this. Echo the Dolphin. What happened to that? You know, uh, when they redid, well, when they rebooted it for the Dreamcast, it was awesome. It was hard as shit and I've never completed it. But it was really, really good, you know? So many... Sega GT. Sega GT was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't up there with your Forzas. Or your Gran Turismo. But it could have been. You know? What happened to that? There were so many, you know, there's so many IPs... From Sega, Gunstar Heroes. That could be a pretty wicked, like, shooter by today's standard. Oh, man, I don't know. It's it's very frustrating as an old school fan to see these games lost to the ages. But that's the reality that we live in, you know? Hopefully Sega are starting to come back a bit by allowing some of these companies to like remaster this or reboot this, I should say. Um, again, my hope with this game is that they're going to maybe remaster the first, the second, and do the third. Maybe Panzer Dragoon Author doesn't really need doing, but maybe. And then maybe, maybe what, what, what if they, they allow them to make a new game? Huh? Huh? What about that? Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. I know. But still. Anyway, that's basically my thoughts uh, at the moment. Really enjoyed this game. It was brilliant to actually play it. Uh, and I enjoyed it for what it was. But I'm done with it. I'm satisfied. It probably will be a game that I pick up every couple of years or so and give a go. Might be worth coming back to with a more powerful Switch, seeing it. Let's just have a look at the, the stats here, shall we? Yeah, so there we go. We've completed it four times. Once on normal, three times on hard. Oh, what does it say? Started games four, finished games three. Ah, uh, who knows. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've played this game for two hours and 40 minutes, and that's it. Normal shots fired, lots. Special shots fired, lots. Uh, accuracy, not so good. Enemies destroyed, lots. Bosses destroyed, lots. And I've been killed 11 times. Damn, son. I suppose, really. If I could remember. Up, up. Down, down. There is a way. If I go into my captures. Uh, I can actually show. 
Right, that's the code it gives you when you complete the game. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BB. So, we go back into this. Hmm. Why you no work? It's saying that I should be able to. Yeah, up, up, down, down. Yeah. Working. Huh. Input mapping. Gameplay settings. Okay, so we actually do have a performance mode, although I'm not sure. Oh, that's got to be what it was. Aim, auto zoom. Okay. So. There we go. There's the cheat menu. So that allows you to basically look at the image gallery, which is all the stuff we really saw. Uh, actually, there's quite a lot here. I haven't looked at all of this. Oh, you ca can you not scroll through it? Oh, you have to go through each picture individually. Oh, that's anus. Look how cool that is. Wow. That beetle's got a big ass. What else have we got here? Oh, look at these. That's what those bird things were. Ah, oh, such a cool, like, you ah, interesting universe. That's what we were shooting. Like weird snail things. So these were all, like, biomechanical... Oh, well, that's just gone. Uh, they were all, like, biomechanical machines. So, basically, Pandora's box... Changing those settings is highly unrecommended. Uh, okay. So we can speed up. Holding those down. We put God mode on. We can have easy boss mode, which I don't know what that's about. We can disable the rider. We can have rapid fire mode. Uh, yeah, that's what you unlock by completing the game. Anyway, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always...